So you might be tempted to contact wizards, mediums, sorcerers, people with familiar spirits, because you think, God is not answering my, my questions, nor my prayers. So why should I not go the other way? Actually, as I look at the people that are contacting the devil, it looks as though their lives are getting better and they are getting more fame. Guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back. This is again the Open Viral TV, and we are back to answer a question about why should we not contact mediums. This is going to be very short, it's not going to be too long. If it's your first time, hit that subscribe button below, and of course, hit that notification bell so you can be when I post a new video. And you can actually put in your comment section, ask a question if you have any, and I'll try to make a video about it as well and share to those who need to know so today we're going to talk about why we shouldn't be contacting wizards and mediums so let's get into it right now in the bible in leviticus chapter 19 we have where the Bible talks about, in verse 29, Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall to whoredom, and the land become full of wickedness. Ye shall keep my Sabbath, and we reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. And our memory text for today is, verse 31, Regard not them, oops, regard not them, that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord thy God. Now, I'm not going to go to the Hebrew word of what defile means, what prostitute mean. This is more of um, a quick understanding of why would God not want us to be talking to wizards. Well, if, we, if you know from the Bible perspective, you know there is a story in the Bible that gets us an understanding of what can happen. And that was in chapter 28 of 1 Samuel, where Saul, king of Israel, had to contact a medium, which is called a witch of Endor. Now, here's the thing. Many people actually and I've had people, my uh, neighbors, when I was in school as well, that their family member died, and they thought that they thought that they were talking to their family spirit, meaning they think their family went to heaven, and then they came back and talked to them at night or whatever. And I'm thinking they don't know that this is the devil speaking to them. Because the devil can actually mimic anyone on this planet Earth. Now, here's the best part of it though. When Samuel died, the whole time Samuel was alive, Saul hated when Samuel reproved him of his wrongdoings. And now Samuel died and God decided not to talk to him anymore. He wanted to talk to Samuel. So what did he do? Well, as you can tell, he went to talk to the witch of Endor. And in verse number, I'm not going to read the whole thing. First thing first, verse number five. Saul said, Saul said this about, um, no, verse number seven, all right? Verse number seven. You know, when the Philistines went against Israel, Saul said, Seek me as a woman that has a familiar spirit. We just read in Leviticus 19, God said not to seek people with familiar spirits. And Saul did the exact opposite. Now, in verse number, um, as we go down, in verse number 18, I believe, um, Samuel 
comes up. Oh, verse number 15. The, the, the witch of Endor did her sorcery and supposedly Samuel came up. When we know this is not Samuel and this is not just to those that are not Christian. Even Christian believes that when their people die, they go to heaven and they can still talk to the dead. When God says the dead know nothing. Samuel came up, apparently, and said, verse 15, Why hast thou disquieted me to bring me up? And Saul answered, I am so distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and God is departed from me, and answereth me no more, neither by prophets nor by dream. Therefore I have called thee, that thou mayest make known to me what I should do. Samuel said then, Wherefore then thou hast asked of seeing of me, seeing the Lord is departed from thee, and become thy enemies. And he went to say, Actually, the, um, as the Lord has done to him, as he by me, the Lord hath rent the kingdom out of thine hand, and given it to thy neighbor, even to David, because thou obeyest not the voice of the Lord, of the Lord nor executeth his fierce wrath upon Amalek, therefore hath the Lord done this unto thee this day. And of course, he will deliver Israel with thee into the hands of the Philistine. The thing is, whenever you contact the devil, he doesn't bring you any good news. It may look as though you are, some people are prospering. Some are becoming a whole lot better. And Bible says this about people that look as though they are prospering. Actually, they are not. And even Bible says in chapter 92 of Psalm, verse number 7, When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is, to, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. So when Saul went to talk to Samuel, he was talking to the devil. And of course, the devil has no good news for you but to kill you anyway. Now, this is what, this is why you do not go and to mediums or wizard because they will they actually devoted their lives to the devil and actually let me put let me put the actual camera wizards medium sorcerers which people from your spirit they have devoted their lives to the devil and to do only the devil's work the devil is not going to persecute them because he already got them in his pocket but people like you and i who want to serve god satan will do everything he can to persecute us and then it may feel as though it may look as though god is not answering and therefore we want to go to the medium but god said do not go to the medium because they got nothing good for you either all they want to do is to discourage you and bring you down to the bottomless pit where Satan will be. Now, let me read something to you guys, something very interesting. This is from Patriarchs and Prophets, page 690, 680, paragraph 4. This is what it says right here. After we, we just read this part from the Bible. We just read this from the Bible. Now this is what it says right here. Although, no, all through his course of rebellion, Saul had been flattered and deceived by Satan. It is the tempter's work to belittle sin, to make the path of transgression easy and inviting, to blind the mind, right? To blind the mind and what else? To the warnings and threatenings of the Lord, Satan, oh, okay, Satan, by his bewitching power, had led Saul to justify himself in defiance of Samuel's reproof and warning. But now, in his extremity, 
he turned upon him, presenting the enormity of his sin and the hopelessness of pardon, that he might goad him, goad him to desperation. Nothing could have been better chosen to destroy his courage and confuse his judgment or drive him to despair and self-destruction. So, what was the plan of Satan? Well, Satan's plan is to get us to look at sin as it is nothing big. It's a little thing. You can play with it until it piles up and then when you see that wow it's like god is not answering me let me go to the devil to get an answer that's basically what happened to saul the whole time he was being reproved by god through samuel he hated that which is satan giving telling him don't do that don't listen to samuel he's just hating you don't listen to him and then as he accumulates sin after sin, and now God says, you know what? Don't want to listen to me? I'm leaving you alone. And now Satan has full control. What does he do? He gets Saul to go talk to a witch, to pretending to be speaking to Samuel, when actually he's talking to the devil. So guys, this is why you do not contact witches, or wizards, or sorcerers, all people, people will have your spirit because all they're gonna do is bring you despair and self destruction. If you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button again and that subscribe button on the way out. Hit that notification bell as well so you can be able to post a new video. And of course, I'm waiting for your comments in the comment section down below. Any questions, videos, my email is also there. Let me know what's up. It was your paper TV. Hope to see you guys again. Until then, bye for now.